Hello viewer, T-Man978 here. Right now I'm going to be reviewing Transformers Vinyl Tech Smokescreen GT. This figure is the 2004 car model version of the original Vinyl Tech Smokescreen mold, which was the first Vinyl Tech mold ever released. Before Classics and Universe and Generations were released, Vinyl Tech and Alternators were the original modern day version of classic characters. Not only were they modern day versions, but they're actually licensed real vehicles. Like this is a real life rally race car that got reformatted to be smokescreen. Vinyl Tech and Masterpiece figures came out to be part of the 20th anniversary of Transformers. And although Masterpiece isn't located anywhere on this packaging, trust me, this is a true masterpiece of a figure. I mean, just picking up the box and feeling the weight, you just know there's a premium product in there. And they spared no expense. It even came with a bio card, of course, in Japanese. Unlike alternators, Vinyl Tech actually had a story, and each character had their own little bio. If I remember correctly, and here's a look at the instruction booklet, which is premium quality. The story with Vinyl Tech, if I can remember correctly, I believe someone like Shockwave produced, or some character produced, some type of transformation virus, and the Autobots had to join up with, Wheeljack had to join up with car corporations across the, the planet to create new bodies for the Autobots. And eventually, the Decepticons stole some of their diagrams and started using the technology for themselves. And here's the real life Subaru Impreza that Smokescreen is based on. Anywho. I'm gonna open the packaging because I'll let you guys see this because this packaging is like really premium like it looks like you're in a lab or something right here and there's like I guess a little nod to the to the grid design of the original Transformers and let's just slide them out This is the type of bubble that all the all of the, all the vinyl tech figures came in. Vinyl tech were more resealable than alternators could ever dream of being. But let me get that fully out of there to give you a more detailed look. Here he is, fully out of packaging, and as you can see, each vinyl tech figure came with a display stand with the car markings and the character's name right here it was very very premium alternators didn't get this <laughs> they just had that cheap cardboard on the side of the packaging you may have seen it in my other alternator reviews Smokescreen also came with this version of Smokescreen. Came with one rocket launcher. It'd have been nice if he came with two. And it even came with, comes with a missile that actually launches. Oops. Let me let you see some of the car detail. Picking this car up is just, oh my God, it just feels so amazing. It has so much weight in it due to the die cast. 
over 10 years later this vehicle is just so amazing like the hood is all die cast this part isn't the doors front and back are die cast the roof is die cast all of the side panel right there is die cast like just feel the cold of the metal in my hand right now just it's just so amazing you can check out some of the details like all the licensing stuff printed all over the vehicle is just they spared no expense it's just so freaking amazing there's the same gimmick as the alternators there's the steering you lift up the hood to see the engine gun right there if you look closely you can see part of his head right there the doors open to reveal the in detailed interior the seats are adjustable even the rear door is open let me get that stand out of the way the trunk opens not completely but it opens there's reflective side view mirrors there's more of the interior it's not painted or anything but it's a lot of details in there the only flaw with this car mode is you can see his robot legs back here but in a real rally racer I believe there's no rear seats in there unfortunately this car did get remolded into um, blue streak or silver streak and he was a more he was a he was a standard car that should have rear seats but they can't all be perfect Anywho, let's get to the transformation. Let's see how much I remember. I'm going to go ahead and leave these doors open. Shut the trunk. Come up here. Open the hood. And pop this gun out. Set that to the side. Shut the hood. Separate the windshield from the roof. Bend right there. I guess I can shut these rear doors. They don't need to stay open. Separate the car right there. Stretch the legs. Moving the windshield above the trunk. Do that on both sides. And go ahead and bring the rear bumper down to form the toe and also push the heel spur out back here shut these doors to the back of the legs down out the way now let's come to the front one thing that's difficult is this steering mechanism you have to kind of break it get them out as out the way as best you can and try desperately but before I even do that I'm gonna go ahead and collapse this center part and with the doors on with the seats on it shut the seats fold that forward smash them together and bring what will become his midsection and peg them into place right here and go ahead and rotate the legs get these arms out of here like lift that up to pull these down 
and out to the side. Down and out to the side. Come on. This was the most toughest part of this transformation. You can rotate the arms like that. Move this with the steering wheel down. Move the flip the roof like this. Bring the head down. Push the head a little bit up. Bring the front of the car. And as you're doing that, well, bend this part of the windshield down. Open this flap up on the hood and push the head back so the head can get clearance to come down. Snap that into place. Bring the back all the way back down. Bring the arms around. Bring the arms around. Twist his fist. Now, <clears throat> basically, smoke screen is done. It's just a matter of straightening everything so he doesn't fall over. And now that he's done, I can bring out his optional shoulder launcher. Peg that into the hole right here. And bring his engine back. Flip that up. Peg that into his, his hand. Complete the look and boom. You have an awesome heavy metal robot. Once again, 10 years later, even in robot mode, I still think Smoke Screen is amazing. He just looks so beefy and tough. Like with the big broad shoulders and the weight to him just just feels like he'll tear something up <laughs> you can position these doors however you see fit they slide back and forth a little bit I kind of loose on mine <clears throat> here's what he looks like from the, the side and the rear has a little bit of backpack, but just the same amount of backpack as the masterpiece, really. Here's a close up on his face. He has a helmet that looked just like the masterpiece version. Blue eyes. His head is on a ball joint. I remember my um, alternator's figure had a better range of head movement. But this is still good. The shoulders can droop down a little bit like that. You can do 360, go out. You have to make sure you get that steering gimmick out of the way. His double jointed elbows. <clears throat> I wish that he had bicep swivel, but he doesn't. Ball jointed wrist independent index finger and the rest of these fingers are molded together waist joint the legs go out that much they go up that much but you have to turn them a little bit because this piece right here bumps into the top of the legs which that used to drive me crazy when i first got them I wish that he had thigh swivel too, but he doesn't. He has, let's see, this much bend in the knee. The foot can rotate back like that. The toes have two points. 
they don't pivot and he has that heel spur so you can get him in some good dynamic poses if you, if you try but let me compare him to masterpiece smoke screen They did a good job of rec recreating the G1 character feel. But of course, Masterpiece is just that, Masterpiece. He's the, the definitive version of what we saw in the cartoon, masked with the old toy. But they both have a really similar feel. Like they both have that helmet looking chin guard thing going on same forehead crest racing details and whatnot masterpiece smoke screen has vinyl text smoke screen beat as far as articulation but feel and weight wise vinyl tech smoke screen makes Masterpiece smoke screen feel like trash. <laughs> Cause he's just so lightweight. And this guy just feels amazing and that paintwork is just so awesome. But anyway, that's enough gushing over this toy. If you decide to buy any Binotech figures, Definitely, smoke screen. Any one of the, any one of his versions. There were like four versions of smoke screen. Any one of them, and you can't go wrong. You're, you're gonna be happy. If you don't buy any other vinyl tech, definitely buy smoke screen. Anywho, as always, thanks for clicking my video. If you're not subscribed, subscribe right now. Share, comment. Come back for more. Until next time, T-Man 978. Bye.